Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former indoor coach, current beach volleyball coach, and former player. Indoor. To the point. Concise. I'm going with Adam for now and I think I can keep that consistent. We're not including the last name anymore. He is a one name wonder, and I said this before, like Prince. One name only. Adam and I got into a bit of an argument last episode. I'm on Sky mode. That argument extended off camera. And I'm still not over it. I'll tell you what I'm excited about though, is I just took a high cue personality quiz and I think it linked me to the character we're about to meet so I'm a excited but B I'm, I'm unsure because it's a libero so at the la at the end of last episode we got a sneak preview of the guardian deity of Karasuno and Adam loved his streaks in his hair you know why Adam loved the streaks in his hair no we're not going there you oh, really this is payback. <laughs> because that is what our boy Adam did with his hair when he was a similar age. Let's see, I don't even know if I have photo evidence of this, and even if I did, which I think I do, I don't want to share it because that embarrasses me. Frosted tips were a thing. By connection. Back then. All right, all right. Can you imagine this head of hair with blonde tips? Yeah, me neither. It was terrible. And that's probably actually the reason why I said no when he asked me out on a date when we were that age. Okay, so we met Oikawa. It was a domestic dispute ensued. We are not going to dive into that any further because Adam's just wrong. And as I said, we met the guardian deity who Adam decided, aside from his hair being the thing of Adam's dreams, um, Adam decided he was a libero. So... It was an eventful episode. <laughs> More between us than anything else, but today we're watching season one, episode eight of Q called He Who Is Called Ace. I'm very excited for this episode, but I have not said anything further. So Adam doesn't even know what's happening, no clue. which is what we love. So we're gonna try to put our differences behind us and not let that bleed into this episode. Oh, I think you're a little more upset about that. But Adam's frosted tips will be discussed more in depth, so... I don't think you have a photo. I could get one if I don't, ha if I don't have one in my possession, because you know who loves to talk about the frosted tips? His mother. She loves them. <laughs> she did them. She likes to talk about it a lot, so I could for sure get my hand on some photo evidence. Anyways, you've probably had enough of this banter. I almost tried to say it in a British accent, but I, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was waiting for it. I was really curious how it was going to come out. I was like, mm, no, no. I'm disappointed. My ego said not today. I'm disappointed. All right, so here we go. Episode eight, he who is called Ace. Let's see what happens. I hope we get along. Oh, 
北側は第一ですマジか強豪じゃねえか通りであのサブか俺中学の時当たって2対1で負けたぞその時も1個目にサーブすげえやったよしうるさい西,西野屋さんはどこの中学なんですか千鳥山だ強豪じゃないですかなんでカラスのにやっぱり鵜飼監督の復帰を聞いていや俺がカラスのに来たのは女子の制服が好みだったからだすごくもちろん女子自体の期待を裏切らなかったそれに何つっても男子が学ランだからだプロとな俺中学がブレザーで学ランに憧れてたんだよシャトがプレイじゃなく黒なわかるカラスのは黒学ランだし女子も制服かわいいしいいからも近い迷わず決めたねあいかわらず嵐のようだな<笑>やかましいだろうでもプレイはびっくりするくらい静かおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお Um, I mean, that what all just happened does not. No. Adam thinks that blue and green match, so, like, he would not have been enamored by anything fashion related.、Uh, <laughs> I'm a top of the pile dresser. Yeah.、Um, so, that is Nishi Noya. I mean, little ball of energy on brand for Libero, I would say. I mean, you knew people like him choosing schools for particular reasons, so that's not entirely shocking.、Um, yeah, I mean, he seems like a great teammate. And I loved how you have that dichotomy of like he's super outgoing and they call him a hurricane and then quiet when he plays, which is such a good word, especially when it comes to passing. So I love that. I'm pretty sure I said that exact same thing in my first watch through. Really? That serve receive is a very quiet skill. Hey, but so we are on、green. the same wavelength. <laughs> okay, so you maybe missed the last statement before I hit pause, but he said, Is Asahi back yet? No, I missed that. Okay, well, that's what he just asked.、Yeah. Gave me chills. That was incredible. It was beautiful. The whole idea, I've never thought about it like that. And I, I love that analogy of. Are you crying? No. <laughs> okay.、Um, I love that analogy about being connected、um, and keeping it going. And that's,、uh, that's a really cool way to look at it. And I, I thought that was incredible. He's like, and I can't battle in the sky. Yeah. <laughs> that, it, that is a very, as a hitter, you probably wouldn't think of that. No. But it is a very beautiful way of articulating that position. レシーブがうまいからやれる
ポジションでしょあですよねお前よく分かってんじゃねえかあとキャプテンが西野屋さんのこと守護神って言ってましたし守護かいあそれなんだそれそんな大げさな呼び方されたって別に<笑>本当に言ってた<笑>そんなかっこいい名前で呼んだってな俺はそんな簡単にはなちくしょう第三名俺まだレシーブ下手くそでバレーボールで一番大事なとこなのにバレーボールYou're a libero because you're so good at passing, and passing is the most important skill in all of volleyball. <laughs> Senpai. Not the best technique. <laughs> お前も同類だかんなお前が説明するときもバッとかグワッとかだよ周りはさっぱりわかんねえからリベロって確か特殊なポジションだよねはい I think it's really interesting I mean I haven't seen him play it but I get this sense that he's like incredible at what he does Well he said that when they were introducing him before we met him Daichi and Suga said that he's the only other genius or Tanaka or somebody the only other genius on the team. Right. So it's interesting to me that the way he explains the skill resonates um, with Tsukushima. Kageyama. Kageyama. The other genius on the team. Um, and nobody else gets it. And it's interesting when people who are, I don't want to say innately skilled because everybody works at their craft, but I think for some people, those things just click when you see a scenario your body does what it's supposed to. I think you're actually a little bit like this in terms of being able to see a scenario and have your body do that. And sometimes, this, is, this next part isn't about you, but like when, when they try and teach somebody else, it's frustrating because what happens intuitively for them, they can't explain. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see how this little teaching session actually goes. We were on the same page again because I was saying, I said the same thing. I think the, my about, first watch. About yourself? No. Oh, on my first watch through of like people who are so good at something often have a really hard time explaining it because it just like comes naturally. They don't have to think about it. It's the medial graphics that make good coaches. One handed dig, I love it. ここへいる選手と入れ替わって常に守備を固めます。まさにカラスの守護神か。かっこいいね。あいつが戻ってきてくれるとは本当楽しいです。あの小さい体で存在感がすごく大きい。西野屋がいると安心感が違うんです。に
Okay. Basically like... Your best player. Or... Well, there's definitions of a good player, but... But is, is that like referring specifically generally to a hitter? Yeah, it's like your go-to point scorer. Got it. interaction. It was, uh, that actually reminded me of a little girl I played with. Kind of reminds really? me of John Kralik. <laughs> this show really has a way of bringing out all the memories and all the feelings. That's true. It's, fu it's fun to watch. You know, think of people that you've played with and experiences that you've had. And he didn't ridicule Hinata for having those dreams. No, but I, and I feel like it works both ways. Like, he was mad he called him short, and then he was a little taken aback that he wanted to be an ace with how tall he was, and then they were talking about how good each other could be, and that was, that was a nice moment. And Kageyama nodding in the back about how important a good decoy is. Oh, yeah. we'd love to see it. They're trending in the right direction. Yeah. I, but it leaves me a question with, sorry about that. <laughs> I had to wrap my head around my thoughts. Who, who is the ace and why is he not playing? I mean, obviously, we're gonna get there and you're not gonna say anything. I'm not saying yeah. a word. Okay. Yeah. We'll wait and see. しつこいかもしれませんが、お願いします。未経験者の僕では情けないですが、力不足なんです。あの子らの可能性は素晴らしい。どうか彼らに指導お願いします。ゆかいくん。What?しつこいな、先生。はい。それだけが取り柄です。
けど俺はクソめんどくさい高校生のおもりなんかごめんだまた改めてきますだからやんねえっつってんのにしつこくてすみませんでもあの子らの試合を見てもらえたらその理由も分かってもらえると思うんです Everybody needs somebody in the corner. Did you put it together? Which part? That. I mean, he's obviously the grandson or son of the famous coach. Oh, obviously. I'm just checking. Okay, no, that's fair. And so they're going to try and pull him in, get a little swagger from the name, but clearly he's got a backstory in volleyball, so he's obviously played. Everybody has a backstory in Haikyuu. Didn't go anywhere because he's running a convenience shop and smoking cigarettes. So this is going to be a redemption story. And that's my prediction. Oh, he's very confident in that. Okay. Just, I'm glad that you understood what was happening. Yeah. It's your attitude. I'm on I'm wondering if he's ever going to play again. No, he'll get hit by a car. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding! No, it's... Adam thinks he's an anime expert now, <laughs> so I just had to keep him on his toes. <laughs> he no. did not get hit by a car. I bet you... You bet me what? He's... he's probably coming to grips with the fact that it's not going to be his team for much longer and that he's going to be on the sideline and that that's tough I guess we'll find out I guess we'll find out oh double tapped your favorite man bun よかった。西野屋が後ろにいてくれれば、ここ強いもんな。お前だってそうだよ。お前がトスを呼ぶだけで、みんな心強く思ってるよ。気持ちは嬉しいけど、俺が戻ってもまたみんなの足を引っ張
。I press stop button. Press stop. <laughs> You can admire that? You can admire quitting. Know that he's the type of player to shoulder the blame. No, I respect that 100%. <laughs> Not an advocate of quitting. Not an advocate of quitting. What do you think of Asahi's look? More importantly. <laughs> I mean, he seems to be the only player with a little bit of chin, a little bit of facial hair. Um, Correct. He looks like he's got the shoulders of a swimmer. Okay. Um, what about his hair? I didn't notice. The first time you saw him, you were like, oh, look, a man bun, and now you're just oh, blacked the, the, out. Right, the man bun. Oh, we saw him from the front. Yeah, you're your least favorite. I don't like a man bun. We know that. We know that. Don't like is not the right word. I think detest might be the right word. If any of you have a man bun, I'm sorry. Adam said it. Um, are you not a little bit intrigued? Like, I feel like you're not nearly as invested in this as you should be. What do you mean? You're just like, mm, yes, he shoulders the blame. Totally respect that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's he has a little bit of a beard. And I'm like, he's the ace who's refusing to play. He's gonna come back. There's no way he doesn't not play. Well, you're just ruining this whole thing because you're just too nonchalant. Am I wrong? Yeah. We're never gonna see Asahi again and you just played that off like it was no big deal. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I apologize. You're no fun. What are they doing? Running. That's an impressive job. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> That's how no, I've heard in Asia so many times. <laughs> Garbage, Adam. I love how everything's so epic. Yeah. Oh, so it's. Was he trying to bring a, a, a Asahi? Ukai. No. Asahi. Asahi. Back versus trying to pull the coach in. Well, they just zoomed in on the shop. Okay. A lot happened. A lot happened in that scene. We need to talk about it. Hit me. Rolling Thunder. I mean... Do you like the tagline? Do you like that he gave that move a tagline? I mean, it's, <laughs> it, seems, it seems on brand. 
A hundred percent is on brand. And I'm, I'm all for a little flair. Adam is not a flary, flashy guy, but he can appreciate it. Yeah, hundred percent. Not my style. I would never yell "Rolling Thunder" <laughs> as I fell to the ground because I. No, he was dead, rolling though. I, I just, I was making fun of myself. Okay, yeah, you would be falling. Down. Yeah. So, I can't say that's something that I would do, but uh, I, I'm, I'm for it. I'm all for it. He's passionate about it. He not is on board. Everyone the other first years are making fun of him. <laughs> He's like, sit down so you can, so I can lecture you. Like, get baloney. Um, okay, Rolling Thunder. Mm -hmm. Key tagline. That move is iconic for Nishinoya. Also, Nikoma. The first mention of Nikoma. Okay. That's another school. Yeah, the cat school. Fun fact for you, the word neko in Japanese means cat. Nekoma. See how they got that? Yeah, yeah. Wow! I'm sorry I'm boring you You're not boring. with all of these fun facts. You're not boring me. But you literally didn't even blink and you're like, oh, what is that, a garage dump? What is that? It's a garbage dump. Yeah, I, I'm the surprise. Somebody's excitement is at level zero and needs to be cranked up a little. <laughs> Be because crows and cats don't get along. Hang out in the alleyways. Got it. So we're looking for a street fight. Thank you. All right. All right. And you also missed a key point of Grandpa Ukai and the coach from Nakoma are rivals. Right. So that's why I was asking whether he, which, who, it was either, I was thinking either he was trying to pull the grandson into coach because of that rematch, or I didn't know if that was the school where I saw he got blocked a whole bunch of times. So he said, I'm going to pull him in, and I wasn't sure who he was referring to. So that makes sense, though. I'm with you. I'm here. It's time to amp up the enthusiasm, Adam, my okay? Bad. My bad. It's time, to, it's time to ramp it up, because this is moving and shaking. Uh, let's, see okay. some, let's see some matches. Back again. Oh, I'm get mad at me all you want about pausing too much. We're gonna do what we want here. Sorry. The sass is coming. Out. <laughs> this is a daily. Thing. No, you know what it is? Is daily. I'm feeling attacked because I recently read a comment where somebody's like, mm, "Too many pauses," and I'm like, "Well, I have a lot to say." Okay. <laughs> so leave me alone. Um. So, I am sharing with you what all of our lovely subscribers have shared with me over the years. Okay. And yes, I say years because it takes me a long time to make it through this. When somebody sneezes, it means that like somebody's talking about you. Oh, like your, your ears are burning. Yes. Okay. So that oh, is their cool. version of like, your ears are burning. So because he was like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, I appreciate that too though. Thank you! Thanks for the enthusiasm. Tokyo くせ者揃いだけど面白そうなやつばっかせ。これからこのチームはなんかこう just ruining the moment. Little tone down.
一人で勝てるわけないのになお,お前がそう言うこれはお前の名言鮮明に覚えてるぞ He's growing already スパイクも全部俺一人でやれればいいのにって思ってます<笑>ちょっと。Kidney shot. That's like a Vulcan move. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. I was gonna say good cop, bad cop, but that's not really it. I'm trying to think of what the. Oh! The bubbly one. And the silent. I don't know what the I almost said killer, but <laughs> he's not. It made me think of Neo from The Matrix. You, have you even seen The Matrix? I have never seen The Matrix. Or maybe Morpheus. Also, don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Okay, that's, that's no, 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 never mind. You're just trying to show off your nerdiness. Out, it's actually probably completely normal mainstream pop culture, but I think that says more about me than you that I don't know what they are. I told you he's coming back. They're gonna convince him. That is a bold move, though, for the young newbies to go seek him out and like take it upon themselves to convince him to come back. I I agree with you, except that he not just doesn't ever get it, so he's just gonna do it and. Kagiyama goes along to make sure he doesn't screw it up too badly and then ends up giving his own insight. Which but is then his, I feel like his insight is more impactful because he says like a sentence. Yeah, and I also think that there's probably, like he probably knows that he's been the case. Like if you're in the game, you know those players coming up and he knows how good he is. So there's probably a level of maybe not respect, but at least like Acknowledgement there. We're seeing growth in Kageyama already. Yeah. This is outstanding. I, t I told you. This is outstanding. I told you it was going to happen. Duff. Look at Adam. Smarty pants. We'll see him in the gym at the end of the episode. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, Adam was wrong. He didn't go in the gym. <laughs> You're just waiting for the episode to end. They're not even like a frame into the end of the episode. <laughs> you didn't, they didn't even finish the drum roll. <laughs> oh. Okay, what do you think? Tell me everything. I mean, it looks like they're shaping up to have a pretty good team. So, I mean, if he comes back, all of a sudden you have a legitimate libero. You have Daichi, who's also a good passer. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's there? I'm guessing, I'm curious if he plays middle. Um, well, let's think about it. What? Di the, uh, sorry. Are you asking, am I allowed to say? Okay, usually an ace, like a go-to hitter. Is an outside. Is not a middle. Okay. I just, they, they showed him kind of in the middle of the court once, so I didn't know if that was a small thing. Anyway, um, so then you have Daichi, him, and who's, who's going to be the other outside? Tanaka. And then you have... Uh, Noya Libero. Noya Libero, Kageyama setting. What's the middle's name? Tsukushima. 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 And Hinata in the middle, which I still... It's gotta not be where he ends up, but for now, fair enough. Hitting the quick ball. That seems like a pretty formidable roster. Like a decent team. I haven't seen any other teams except for one, but... You have seen Seijo. Seijo. Without the Great King playing, just serving a couple balls. Yeah. Yes! It looks like Asahi has got the itch back. But do we know that for sure? I don't know. We'll see. Noya's great. I will say it again. Adam is not Noya. Yeah. Um, Metasaki. Still need a bit of a backstory there. Um, we also need the Ukai backstory, as Adam mentioned. So we will see. We have a lot of things in the works here. Yeah, there's a lot of balls up in the air right now. Yes. Is Asahi coming back? Is Ukai gonna coach? Ukai, what's his, is it, that's his last name, right? Mm -hmm. What's his first name? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> so you're missing two key pieces there, I would yes. say. Yes. And we've still got Hinata hanging out in the middle. Yeah. Which... And, and what's gonna happen with Suga? And what's going to happen with Suga? We got a lot of question marks floating around here. Um, but we'll have to wait till next time to find out some of the answers. So hit us up with your comments, but don't give any spoilers because Adam does not need to see those. He needs to live this here and now. I don't want to know anything. Doesn't want to know anything. Um, we would also be so excited if you would like this video, subscribe to our it's your our channel. channel. It's, it's my your channel. channel. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel and let's see what happens. Let's see if Adam will get any of his answers next week with more Haikyuu. Bye. Bye.